Okay, so in this problem, uh, we need to find the values of the variables for which A, B, C, D must be a parallelogram. So we know that since this is a parallelogram, um, the diagonals bisect each other. So this length here has got to be the same as this length here. And this length, 4x minus 2, has got to equal um, 3y minus 1. So let's set up those equations. First thing, we got 3y minus 3 equals 3x. And then we have 4 x minus 2 equals 3y minus 1. Now we have a big problem here because I have two variables in each of these um, equations. So I need to solve a system of equations. There's three ways to do this. I can do it by graphing, which can take a while and also um, you need to be really accurate on your graph otherwise um, you won't get the correct answer. Uh, or I can do it by elimination, eliminating a variable, elimination, um, or substitution. I'm going to choose substitution. This is where we solve for one variable. So we get an x equals by itself or a y equals by itself, and then we go back and we plug it into um, the original equation. So it looks like 3x is already by itself. So I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to solve for x to get x by itself so I have a good x equals to substitute. So I've got 3y minus 3 equals 3x. Now I'm going to divide this each side by 3. That cancels. Um, this cancels and this cancels. So I get y minus 1, because 3 divided by 3 is 1, um, and then equals x. Now I can take this x and I can substitute that in um, in the other equation up here. So I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to rewrite him over here. We've got 4x minus 2 equals 3y minus 1. Now, um, wherever I see an x, which is right here, I'm going to substitute y minus 1 for. So I'm going to do 4. Instead of putting x, I'll put y minus 1 minus 2 equals 3y minus 1. Now I can distribute this. 4 um, times y is 4y. So 4 distribute to the 1. So minus 4 minus 2 equals 3y minus 1. Um, if I combine like terms here, it's 4y minus 6 equals 3y minus 1. I need to subtract 3y from both sides. So I get y minus 6 equals negative 1. I can add 6 to both sides. Running out of room. Okay, and I got y equals 5. Now that I know what y is, I can go back and I can plug it in over here to find x. So if I've got y minus 1 equals x, and I just put y in for, or 5 in for y, I get 5 minus 1 equals x, and we have 4 equals x. So the big idea here is to solve for one of the variables um, and then substitute it into the other equation.